Um, that was one of the craziest solo trips I've ever done. The Kalahari is completely flooded. are heading to Kutsi Game Reserve or actually I'm heading by myself because the girls stayed behind on this one. The weather has not been great in Botswana the past couple of weeks. It's been raining a lot, a lot, a lot. So we'll see what the road conditions are in Kutsi. I do have to be careful because I'm traveling alone. I've got no satellite phones but I've got all my recovery gear and everything. See lying if I'm not a little bit nervous but we'll take it nice and slow and it's a place that I've been wanting to go to for a long, long time. This is proper, proper Botswana rainy season. I don't know. Yo, it's gonna be intense tonight if it continues like this. So we just helped push these guys out of the mud just goes to show you where where we are here so everything's completely flooded these guys are heading off in that direction i think i should be cool going through here it stopped raining and it seems like i'm making a couple of friends cows everywhere i don't know how happy they are to see me just show you something here how amazing these dung beetles are so that's a dung beetle uh, basically they collect obviously the dung so all the poo that's laying around here from the cows and other animals and they actually push it backwards which is quite interesting <laughs> but uh, it is a sight to see they're actually everywhere now in the rainy season so I thought the Sun was coming out but it looks pretty brutal down there. I think it's gonna it's gonna hit us hard again. So let's go for round two, round three, round four. I don't even know anymore. But it's definitely coming. Pretty rough out there, but uh, we make the best of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that <laughs> that was interesting. A lot, a lot, a lot of water. So this way, Kodwani village last village before we hit the Kutsi. Kutsi is down this road right here so again lots more water and lots more fun but we are almost there. ostrich and daddy ostrich and lots of little babies and we are just making our way to Kutsi 1. This is literally a dream come true for me. I'm in Kutsi by myself. Everything is lush and green and beautiful and underwater which is cool. Uh, I know the lions are around but everything's so lush and green. I don't know if I'll be able to spot them. They're probably close. 
but we're still making our way to campsite. Sure, it's beyond amazing here. I'm really, truly, truly grateful to be here. It is very muddy and very slippery. So I came from down there earlier. I just fell on my arm. Good morning. So yesterday was pretty intense. I think it rained for about 16 hours. I managed to make a little fire before going to bed. No dinner, no nothing. It was, it was quite intense. It literally rained the whole day and the whole night. Today looks like it's cleared up a bit, which is quite nice. I'm dying for a proper meal and then a coffee because I haven't eaten in about 24 hours. So we'll start our day with a coffee and a bit of breakfast and then we will continue exploring. Okay, I think what I am gonna do is close up the tent and close up shop just in case it rains again. Um, still got my coffee. But all these clouds, it's getting windy and stuff, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with the rain. So I think it's a good idea just to pack up tents so I can have a dry place to sleep tonight. In case it all goes pear shaped again. <laughs> Let's hit the road and see what's out there. Looks like we're in for some more rain, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take this turn off here and head on the southern side of Kutsi to Moreswe Pan, which is 50 k's away. So we'll see how the roads are and hopefully have some lunch there if it's not pissing down with rain. Just like that, the rain is back. So unfortunately, it's pissing down with rain, but this just caught my attention. Those are line tracks heading this way. So I'm just trying to figure out more or less where I am. Luckily, I've got a few points on here. So, Guia Pan, let's see. Continue on route. Okay, so straight it is. So, I lost the tracks in the rain because everything's washed out now. But those were definitely fresh. There, I've picked up the trucks again, but they're actually heading behind me. But you can see the tracks. That's a beautiful one. So I was saying just now that all the trees look damaged and pushed over and I found a bunch of elephant dung right here. So definitely some elephants around. <laughs> I was hoping to have some lunch and make a fire and cook some steaks because I haven't had a proper meal in 
two days. Okay, plan B. So we're gonna head to the southernmost point of Kutsi, which is down by Moreswe Pan. See if we can run into the elephant there. And from there, we will slowly make our way back up north to where Kutsi 1 is. So we've got 20 more kilometers of this. <laughs> In front of us is also another example of all the elephants, or I don't know how many, are pushing trees over and destroying the trees around here. You can see. So they've actually literally pushed one over the road. Okay, so the sun slightly came out, which is nice for a change. Yo. Uh, we are 2.5 k's away from Moretzwe Pan. Tracks are still doing well. We crossed lots and lots and lots of water on our way here. Uh, it looks like it's a bit dry here. It's a bit more sandy. Uh, but let's see, maybe we run into the elephants. That would be nice. And hopefully we can actually make some lunch because I'm starving. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a call here. I've pulled into one of the Moreswe campsites hoping that the rain would die a bit and I could set up camp here, but it doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna have to make a call and I think that call is to head back north where I came from this morning, which is about a two hour drive through the mud and through the sand tracks. So let's see how it goes. because I wanna get there before the sun goes down. Back to the monsoon, back to the flooding. I mean, this is insane. Flooded tracks the whole way. This way and this way. Yep. This is wild, 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 wild. Completely sopping wet. Just trying to make. Oh. Just trying to make some sort of fire so I can eat tonight and go to bed. Oh yeah. Good morning. Day three in Kutsi. It's not raining. We had a beautiful night. That rain actually stopped coming just after I ate. So I did eat under the rain, but that doesn't really matter. However, the whole night I heard lions, literally the whole night. Um, this morning they literally just woke me up as well. So they're very close, I think we should try and find them. They're somewhere in the vicinity of that distance. Yeah, I've been hearing them all morning. Um, so I've packed up camp and I'm gonna go looking for them because I've been looking for them for three days. bushes somewhere you can hear them so just as I finished making my coffee now rain is starting to pull in so I think it's a sign it's time for me to go home I've been rained on for the last three days 
There's another storm coming this way as well. So the storms are closing in, the drops are starting to come down and um, it's time to go home. I think it's gonna take me a good couple hours to get home. I've got a long way to go. All the roads are flooded. I know I've said this over and over and over, but yo, this is insane. So uh, this guy's stuck. I think we're gonna try and winch him out. Did you try to start it? No. <laughs> Nothing. No, I didn't to start it. Just to what Ooh, okay. Okay. Jeez, what an eventful trip. So we pulled out that poor bugger and he's busy using a bucket to empty his car. Shame. Yes, we are officially back on solid ground. Something like um, once in a lifetime experience that. Wow. But back on solid ground and heading home.